What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Starbucks, H O T C, Harder City, aka JJ, Jordan Junkie. Here with another one. Yeah, but last time I didn't show you what I had on. Yeah, I got a little Philly shirt, Philly hat. Right. I'm wearing up Bordeaux. Yeah, but this video, this is going to be about how my obsession with Jordan's came. I prove how much I'm in love with him. This basically started back in kindergarten. Well, was it? Five. <coughs> At that point, I didn't even know what the fuck Jordan was. I learned about colors, fucking crayons, milk, and shit like that. But... It was the beginning of the school year. I remember that much. This is this is crazy. I'm only five years old, and out of all the stories in the world, I remember this one. But anyway, it was the beginning of the school year, and I seen some young boy. Like it was a white kid. He had the Bugs Bunny eights on, all white with the gray and the black paint splatters and the red spring fire and all that shit. And I'm just looking at him like, what the fuck is those? I I wish I could get a pair of those. And I just kept looking at them. Every day I would see them in school, I just constantly look at them. Now, mind you, the ones I'm, I'm talking about that I get, I didn't even know these existed yet. My mom loved me to death. I was her only son. So, I got two sisters, by the way. And I'm a middle child. So, she took me to this, this shopping center from where I live at. They used to have a sneaker store that ain't open no more. But back then, I had it. And... <coughs> She let me pick my own sneakers out, which was crazy because I'm only five years old. I don't know what the fuck I want and just see pretty colors and shit. And out of all the sneakers in the world, I picked out these. The Aqua 8s. These ones kind of beat on the handle for a few years. But those were the first sneakers I ever picked out for school. And I didn't even know what the hell it was. I just looked at them and was like, damn. They so damn bright. I want them things so bad. And I get them. And wearing them at school, killing people. Everybody's going, ooh, what's those? What's those? Whole time in my head, I did not know they were Jordans. Until sixth grade. I mean, I've been seeing them. But at that time, I didn't know about the numbers. I didn't know like five, six, and all that shit. I didn't know all of them yet. I just knew around that time, around 6th grade, 14 was up, and I happened to see them in the magazine. I said, I remember those. I had them shits in 8th grade. Oh, I mean, my, my fault. I had them in kindergarten. So, and I looked at them, I seen the Jumpman sign on the bottom. I said, get the fuck out of here. They Jordans. So, this obsession is premeditated, basically. I was fucking with Jordans before I even knew what the hell it was. The next year, 1st grade, I had the 9s, uh... Carolina blue and and white, all white with the Carolina blue sole. So <clears throat> I'm after those now. I slept on them when they, re they re released them finally either two years ago or something like that. And then I don't think that wasn't really too big on the 10s. I didn't even know the 10s. I didn't like, I still to this day don't really, I'm not really crazy about them, but I'm gonna pick up the Chicago 10s next year. But when the 11s dropped, what grade was that? Uh, I think I was in third grade, they dropped. Motherfuckers went crazy. Still, mind you, still to this, that date, I still didn't know what Jordan's was. I knew who Jordan was, I knew he had sneakers, but I never knew, like, which ones was which and all that shit. So, this was around Christmas time. I ain't worrying about no sneakers, I'm not worrying about no clothes. I'm worrying about toys, video games, shit like that. So, I got a Sega, I got all these video games and toys and wrestling men. So, when, I, when we go back to school after Christmas break, that's all we talk about in school is like what you get for Christmas, what you get. And I said, I'm going to kill these motherfuckers. Ain't nobody got this game yet. I think it was Aladdin or some shit for Sega Genesis. Like, ain't I got a game gear. I'm like, no, oh, I'm about to kill these niggas. They ain't get this shit. So people kept hovering around this little girl that used to be in my class. She had the Concord on. Mind you, nobody knew what the fuck they was. That was the first time anybody really seen Pat Leather like put together so good on a shoe. So... I just like was like why everybody hovering around like everybody was on my dick first because I was talking about I got all these toys and shit and everybody started flocking to her and I'm like what's the big deal so they say yo did you see her sneakers I'm like what the fuck what about them and I looked at them I said what the fuck is those everybody say oh they the new Jordans they the new Jordans I'm like Jordans ain't Jordan a basketball player like the, the greatest player and all that shit 
I said, those his sneakers? And after that, I was hooked. I was like a fucking crack queen. Like, it was my first hit of cocaine. And I could just get the scratch every time a Jordan come out. But the sad part about it was, I was an only child. So, I never got no Jordan when I wanted them or how I wanted them. Concords missed out on them. They sold out. And that was one time I didn't know what the hell it was. So, the next ones was the Columbia Blue. The all white with the Columbia Blue at the bottom. So, tried to find those. They sold out like crazy. So after that happened, I said, why are they selling out so quick? That's when people started, like, put me up on game. I started realizing that you got to get Jordans the first day they come out. You got to know everything about them, who going to sell them, who going to have them, how much they going to cost, what time you got to be there, all that shit. That's when I started figuring it out. Because that was when the fucking Bray 11s dropped. That was around Easter. Everybody in mom was on it. I put my mom on some shit three months before they came out because that's when East Bay book was popping. And we didn't have internet blogs to tell us everything so <clears throat> i started like reading them books to find out when they come out because they always had the release dates on them so when i found out to my mom said you know what these east is that for it was the first time she agreed to pay for a hundred dollar pair of sneakers for me in third grade so we went everywhere i went to the three malls i went to every foot locker every sneaker store i could and that's when kids foot lockers first came out when I even went in there, they didn't even have them. I'm like, this is fucking crazy. Nobody had them. And it was so bad that every store I went to, like, I never looked at the sneakers. They would come up to me like, man, how you do? you looking for anything in particular? So when I would uh, tell them that I look for the bread, the white and red, well, all black and red levels, like, I didn't even get to say it. I'd be like, y'all got the black. As soon as I say black, they'd be like, oh, no, we sold out. Like, they don't even be having the sneakers on the shoe, on the shelf. So that was my first experience of seeing Jordan sell out to the point that they don't even have time to put them on shelves because they sell out so quick that they don't even get to promote them because you know every other sneaker. Even if they sell out, they'll have them on the shelf and you got to pick the sneaker up and tell them you want these in 11. You, gotta, you couldn't even do that. You had to tell them what sneaker you want because it was never on the shelves. So I, I ended up getting stuck with some fucking uh, all-white patent leather um Shell tops, which ain't that bad, but at that time, I didn't care shit about no shell tops. I only got them because they had pad leather on them. That's it. Only fucking reason. Then what pisses me off was when I got them, we goes downstairs. It was one store we didn't go to. They had them. And my mind was so stressed out from going to all these malls for three, four hours straight looking for these shoes that she got tired and said, I'm not taking them shits back. You're going to be happy with them, and that's it. And they had them in my size, and I just cried all the way home. And I got teased. I got teased when I got home on Easter because everybody, all my cousins that always get Jordans, like all the highest, nice sneakers, had them, every single person. My cousin that I couldn't stand, he got every pair of Jordans and dogged them like it was fucking shoe, like shoe toys for dogs. He got every fucking color. He had them. Then my other cousin, his little brother had them. Even his little fucking sister had them. Like seven people walked in my house for Christmas because family gathered. Everybody had them but me. And I got teased about that shit for a year. And the, 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 if you didn't get the Concords or any of them 11s that year, the second best thing to get was the Grand Hill, the Felines, that had the patent leather right on because they were second best. But I couldn't even get those neither. They sold all like that. That's when Feli was popping. So after that, I knew every fucking jerk that was coming out, every color, when it coming out, even if I wasn't getting my hands on them. So I was like... Kicks on fire, nice kicks, snigger at it, all them, shout out to all them sites. I was like dumb back then. Everybody came to me to ask me when they coming out, this, that, and the fourth, who won't have them, all that shit. But the sad part was, I could never get my hands on them. I only could get like maybe one pair a year, and most of the time, the color that I get be old. Like, the 12s came out, and that that's another thing that pissed me off. I was so, like, I can't wait till them Obsidian 12s drop next year, because I've been waiting for them shits. Since the first release they ever came out. Because Dumb and the Cherry Red and Whites came out. It was my birthday. My, my, my godmom gave me $80. And my pops and my mom, when the Sneaker State had just opened, they was going to buy me, they was going to buy me uh, uh, sneakers. And they, they I won't say they cheap, but they could have went all out sometimes. Because I brought home straight A's in school. I never got in trouble, nothing. The only thing I ever asked for in return was sneakers. That's it. No games, videos, nothing. Because Jordan was like my life. I told you, I was like a crack fan. All I wanted was my Jordans. Just like the crack fan, all they wanted their crack. All I wanted was my motherfucking Jordans. So, 
the $80 and my God my game was for a Game Boy. Because I wanted the Game Boy forever. So, we get to the store. This nigga tried to give me some fucking rebuffs. I said, nah, that shit ain't happening. I said, how much you... I asked him how much was he going to pay for me for sneakers. He said $80. So, I said, well, maybe I put up my money with it. So, I said, I wanted it to cherry white and, um... Cherry white and... Cherry white... Cherry red and white... 12 because the obsidians was out too and everybody had them. I just wanted to get the red and white ones because nobody had them. Plus, I love them to death, but I like the blue and white ones better. I just didn't want to be like everybody else. So, I told her I needed a size seven and a half. And at that time, that's when my feet first got that big. I didn't know nothing about kids' sizes and men's sizes. So, that was another thing I learned. She was like, What size are you? Mean? I said, Seven and a half. I don't see them over here. She said, Oh, that's why, because that's men's size. You, uh, like six and a half and down is um is kids six and a half up that's men's I said oh shit I didn't I didn't even know the prices was going to change or change that much so she pulled them out they wasn't mind you mind you they wasn't on the shelf she pulled them out even my dad wanted a pair he said oh, I'm changing his life so he asked him how much is them and he said he wanted them how much is them? I tried them on everything he's like how much is it she didn't even want to tell me tell him out loud and start laughing like well, what's so funny she whispered in his ear and all I heard him say was Hell no, I'm not paying for them. And I'm like, ask my mom. She's like, them things is $150. i am not paying that. Then I was like, uh, I said, I tell you, he said, she's like, he said, I'll tell you what. Mom, my hair, I ain't got a haircut yet. He said, I'll give you, yeah, i give you the $80 that I was going to give you. Then you put your money towards it. And that was my Game Boy money, but I said, fuck that Game Boy. I want them sneakers. So I put my money towards it. Then he flips it on me and said, well, that only makes 135 and they, they want 50 so where are you going to get the other $15? And I'm like, I wasn't getting mad that much back then. I was getting straight A's too. But I realized at a, at a point, like, 80 plus 80, that's 160. So basically, you take about $25 off. He was only going to give me $65 or some shit like that. So at the same stand, my mom wouldn't even give me 15, 15 fucking dollars. Nobody would give me 15 dollars. So, I had to settle for the fucking Reebok and get a bunch of headbands and shit. And it's, mind you, I still didn't get my fucking Game Boy. So, at the time going on, the 13th came out the next year. I didn't get none of those. I had a chance to get, uh, I had a chance to get the first one, the original, but he got Game Boy, he's a shuttle works, but my dumb ass decided to get boots instead. So, basically, in a nutshell, Every year, I always got slept on with sneakers. To the 14th, I got those, the original color. And I couldn't get the last shots because it was too late. But I say 15 and up. That's when I started like saving my money, my own money, and buying my Jordans. And through high school, I had a job. started buying my own Jordans. So that's why I'm so obsessed with Jordans because I was neglected from them. And I was premeditated that I was getting them and didn't even know what the fuck they was. So... And with that being said, I think I'm going to be a Jordan head or a Jordan junkie until the day I die. But that was just like a little brief, I know I talk, talk too much. That was like a brief description of why I'm so obsessed with Jordans. Rate, comment, subscribe, boy Starbucks, a.k.a. JJ, Jordan junkie, get at me. One.